Uh, what we're getting ready to do here is we're getting ready to shoot sheep. Uh, I'm Steve Kennedy and this is Colin Kennedy. Um, we're a family out of uh, Indianapolis, Indiana. Sheared sheep for roughly 10, 12 years. Um, Sheared five or six thousand a piece uh, a year. And uh, what we're going to do is we're going to talk about all the steps as far as shearing sheep here, as far as handling uh, and completion of shearing the sheep. So uh, what Colin has here is he, it's, it's, a, it's an old U. What he's going to show you how to do is he's going to flip it down. And the best way to do that is you grab up underneath the jaw like he has it here. And you're going to lift his head up and you're going to, and you're going to crank it back and lay it down easily like so. Okay, and then uh, we're going to get him in position. You always want to have the hand piece. This hand piece here, you want to have it on the right side. Uh, if you're a right-handed shear, uh, always have it on the left if you're left-handed. Um, and we're, He's going to take the first stroke here, and he's going to come down this leg, and he's going to aim for this flank down here. He's going to aim for that flank and clear that flank totally out. And then he's going to take a next stroke and he's going to come up and clear this side of the brisket out. And once he has that side of the brisket out, he's going to take the, his, the leg in his, right, his left hand and he's going to put it behind his right leg to control that leg. Now the next stroke he's going to do is he's going to come here and he's going to aim for that other flank. And you're going to want to be careful of these you got wrinkles here that you want to you want to be careful of. You want to use your left hand, and you're going to want to you're going to want to pull that up and keep that skin tight as possible. And you're not going to want to run with the with the wrinkles. You're going to want to run across the wrinkles. And he's going to clear that belly the rest of the way out here. And he's going against the wrinkles. You're going to want to use your left hand like he has here, and he's going to pull that skin tight as possible. That way you don't want to cut that. You want to cover those, those teats up and cover, make sure you don't cut those. And now the next stroke he's going to do is he's going to come out that leg. And then he's going to come right back, cover those teats up like so. And he's going to go all the way out that leg. And he's going to take another stroke. And you, you got to be careful on this backside because you've got a Volvi down there you don't also want to cut, okay? Now the next stroke he's going to take is he's going to come out this leg here. He's going to come out that leg and you're going to come back. And he's going to clear out that flank. And he's going to take those strokes as far back as possible. And using that left hand to pull that skin tight. He's going to keep going all the way back, and when he gets stop for a sec, and when he gets right here, you got to be careful of this tendon. You don't want to cut that tendon, okay? So when he hits that, you want to want to roll the hand piece. He'll show you here. You don't want to come at it directly on. You're going to want to roll that hand piece like so. And you're going to take that and, and clean that all out. And then you're going to take that the rest of the way out. And when you get down there, you want to be careful of that. You're going to run into that bulb again, so you want to be careful around that. And he clears out that dock. Okay, when you get to that, you want to take one stroke, like he is, and go all the way up that back and clear that out. Now the next step is you want to, while you have the head right here, you want to take that and clear the head off while it's right there. Okay. The next step, you're going to step forward and put his right leg in between his crotch, and you're going to stre stretch that neck out. Now, he's going to come up. He's going to start here, and he's going to run, come up and aim for the opposite side of the, of the uh, cheekbone. That way, you can miss all the wrinkles if they have a wrinkle up that neck. Okay, and now he's cleared that out. Now he can come back on this side. If there is a wrinkle, he can come out and come on the other side and aim for the other side of the uh, the other side of the the cheekbone there. Cleans that out. And now he'll come all the way back down and come all the way up and clear that other side of that cheekbone. 
and he'll come up and up and over that eye. And then he'll come up and clear that. And you don't have to pull on that ear. All he's doing is lifting that ear up and then flopping that ear back down and cleaning out the other side of that ear. Okay? And then he'll come out and clear that out and come up that neck. And that next stroke, he'll come right up that neck. And then you can come down to that shoulder and clear that out. Then he'll grab that with his left hand and he'll straighten that leg out. You can take those around the corner and down. And this is another area you got to be real careful of. As you can see, he'll turn that hand piece, kind of like he did down on that tendon. He'll turn that hand piece so he's not going directly at that skin. Okay, now he'll just rotate and he'll, he'll shift his feet and, and lay her down. And these are what you call the long blows. These are the longest, this is, these are the longest strokes on the sheet. Um, and uh, just make every stroke count. And he'll keep it down on the hide. And he'll take it all the way up that neck. And, and then, once you need a little bit more clearance, he'll move, his, he'll move his leg out, and he'll put it right here on, if anything, he'll put it right here on, his, on their back leg. Okay, you don't want to put it down here on the gut. You know, on pregnant ewes, that's not good. Um, you want to put it on the, down on the leg here to control that sheep a little bit better. Now, when you get to this point here, you're going to want to go a stroke beyond the backbone. You'll feel the backbone, you're going to go a stroke behind it because it'll help you later on on the back side of the sheep. So you at least a stroke on the backbone, if not more. And keep going all the way up that neck. And he's got that stroke. Now he'll take his right leg and he'll come up here. And you want to take your you want to take your leg and come all the way up here and you want to drag that wool in. You want to drag that wool into you, okay? Now what he'll do is he'll pin this head in between their legs and he'll clear out the rest of this head and down through that and clear and he'll go up and over top of that eye. Pull that ear up. And he'll go right up over the top of that eye and clear off that cheekbone. And then he'll come down and he'll come down around the corner. And as he's doing that, he's, he's forcing the sheep back. He's pushing that leg or that head back behind his leg. Okay, and then he'll lift that leg up and he'll step all the way back across the sheep with his left leg, all the way back, all four legs, and he wants to keep that head in between his legs. That's gonna help you control that sheep as much as possible. Now he's gonna come around that corner Another area you got to be careful of is inside that flint, inside this this front leg here, okay? And I'll move his hand. You can use that to hold on to the sheep also. Stop for a sec. And you're going to have wrinkles here, okay, from the stomach. So you want to go across instead of going around the corner. You want to go down at them. That way you avoid all those wrinkles as much as possible. He's going down at it. And you want to aim for that flank. Once you get down to that flank, you're going to lean forward a little bit and you're going to pop that head out and let them rest back into you. And then you can use that, you can use their left leg or left hand to control. You see how he's controlling that, that skin there? He's pulling it tight as possible. That way you don't get any of those wrinkles or cut those wrinkles. And then he's going to go out that leg, and then you got another tendon. You got another tendon there that he's going to rotate that hand piece like he did on that first leg. You're going to keep coming around. And then also you got that vulva again. You're going to come up on that vulva. You're going to want to see that. And that's it. And you, as you can see, you're going to use a lot of your left hand to do a lot of the controlling of the sheep as far as placement and with the skin. You, you want to use that left hand 
to pull that skin as much tight, you know, as, as tight as possible. Um, at any point in time, you should be able to let go of that sheep and, and have a hold of it and control of it with your legs only. Uh, a lot of people think it's, it's with your hands and your arms and stuff. It's a lot of control with your legs. You've you got to squeeze them a little bit with your legs and keep control of them that way. So, um, and now we'll, we'll get into, now that we got this sheared, we'll, we'll take a, we'll get a sheared one and we'll show you how to do it without, you know, with a crown to show you all the strokes. I know it was a lot at once, um, but we'll show you with a crown as far as the strokes and uh, we'll go from there. He's got her sitting up on his rump again and you got to hold him between your two legs, head off to the left to control it. Okay, and he's going to take that first stroke. And you're going to take it down and clear out that flank. And he's going to come back up that brisket there. He's going to tuck that leg. He's going to go pull the other leg up, go down the other side of the brisket to the other flank. Go diagonally across the stomach. Clearing that out against the wrinkles. He's going to cover up the teats, out the leg, come across, and out the other leg. Now he's going to come back on top of that, clearing out the other flank. He's going to take this one, go all the way as far as he can reach. As far as he can reach on this one. Cross that, one stroke below the vulva. He's going to run one stroke all the way up and get as far as he can across the backbone. Clear off the top of that head. It's going to come up, left foot step forward, right foot in the crotch. And then come up to the closest cheekbone. Clear that out. Going to rotate the head. Come up and go up the other side. Come back down. He's going to come up and go up and cross that eye. He's going to grab that ear. Go across the other side of that ear. And he's going to gra grab the arm. Go down, clear out that flank, careful of that flank. And he's going to shuffle his feet, still got in control of the sheep. He's going to shear that out, that flank, and then he's going to tuck that leg back behind his leg. Doing the long blows. He's going to take his right leg out, put it on their hip, getting that one stroke beyond the backbone. Taking his right leg, coming all the way up with it, dragging the wool in, clearing out the top of that eye, out the cheekbone, down the neck to clear out that first hip, pushing that head back as he rolls back. And now he's going to step all the way back with his left, clearing the rest of that hip out, and then going diagonally down those. That way you don't hit those wrinkles. Clearing out to that hip, he's going to pop that head back out. Going to go out that flank, being careful of that tendon down there. He's going to get the vulva, being careful around the vulva. And she's complete.
it's fine.